We'll get started. Uh, today is Tuesday, August 24th, and this is the Cape Elizabeth uh, School Board meeting. Uh, the first item on our agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The uh, second item is uh, adjustments to this evening's agenda. Do we have any? Uh, we'll move on then to approval of school board uh, minutes for um, one regular meeting of June 8th and three special meetings, June 14th, June 22nd, and July 13th. Were there any um, comments or revisions that were necessary to any of those uh, minutes? We'll move on then to uh, communications. Just a warm Keith. welcome to our new superintendent. Thank you. Thanks for being here. We have um, a new superintendent and a new board member. Um, so we're looking forward to a, uh, a great school year and uh, lots of excitement ahead. Um, superintendent's report. Were there other communications? Um, superintendent's report. Tom? We have um, some resignations, um, notably uh, special ed teacher resignation um, and uh, teacher resignation. I think you had, you had known about previously. We were in the process of looking for a uh, replacement for the special ed. Um, but that came very late because we found a job in your hometown. Okay. Sue, I know your name is on here and we've been through some of the facilities, but uh, if you could just give us a brief update on the um, facilities. I had the opportunity to walk through the building this afternoon to keep away from our head custodian to see exactly you know, where we stood and how we were doing um, in terms of having the buildings ready for uh, Monday morning. And um, Pond Cove Middle School are 98% done. There are places that they need to go back and tweak up and do glass and, and so forth and so on. Um, but basically that building has, is done. Um, they have resurfaced or redone the gymnasium floor and that looks great. Um, and they do have some um, furniture to move and furniture adjustments and so forth and so on. And, and a, as I said, a little tweaking up to do. But uh, those two buildings seem to be in good shape. Um, the high school um, is not as bad as it looks. Um, we're closer than it looks like we are. Uh, the top two floors, the classrooms are done. There's some, a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done in hallways and, and some of the areas. Um, and they're coming along on the first floor. Um, they're, they're still waiting on some of the maintenance projects to finish up before they can get in and clean. But they, they did do the main lobby today. The cafeteria is done. Um, the computer rooms are done. In fact, they're going to be working on that hallway uh, tonight. The, the one area of concern is the entryway, where they're doing a lot of construction by the uh, maintenance entrance. Um, and there's still a lot going on in that area of the, the building. Um, but um, we have a couple of guys in on Saturday and Sunday um, with functions going on. And we, we hope to have them really get into those areas at that time. There's still work to be done in the auditorium, um, so not a lot has been done, done there in terms of cleaning it up. And um, I don't know if Pauline updated you on the status of where that work was or not, but it's coming along. I mean, We're about 90% 90, 90 complete in the auditorium, um, and we should have that uh, the week of the 13th of September. We should have that up and running. Um, now, the gymnasium um, has been painted by the boosters, um, and it really looks terrific. And the lights have not been replaced as yet, but I think that's scheduled soon. 
Is that in the next couple of weeks, yes. The next couple of weeks. So that's not quite done, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll open school. We will be ready for the most part. Um, it's just going back and, and finishing up on um, these two different areas. I think that Tom, Holly, and myself plan to do a walkthrough on Thursday. And I think even from now until Thursday, we'll see a lot of um, completion in the projects. So we're getting there. Thanks. We're talking about twanging rather than tweaking. <laughs> 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 it's a little sign from the other The other item under superintendent's report, I, w I just wanted to give you an update, and this is in the very beginning stages of planning, uh, but because it's going to be a major event, um, I'd like to keep you updated on a regular basis because it is, it's going to take a lot of time and effort to put something like this together. Um, and as we had our goal setting, um, one of the issues was looking at a shared focus for the district, um, bringing all the, uh, the stakeholders, uh, parents, uh, community members, staff together and take a look at um, some of the history of the district and basically look to where we're going in the future and come up with a plan uh, for, for at least five years out. Um, I've spoke, spoken to many, some of the, the, parent, the teacher groups, the teachers association representatives today, uh, staff development committee administrators, and people seem to think this, this it's a good time for something like this. I know George and I have had some discussion about it and we've talked about it, the goal setting. Um, so I think it looks like it's a go. Um, so I know what I'll be spending a lot of time on for the first several months of school putting this together, but I think it will really be a plus uh, for the district. Um, and I'll keep you informed as the plans unveil. Good. Uh, we're going to move on to um, committee reports and uh, finance subcommittee. Keith? Uh, we had a brief meeting uh, before this meeting tonight. Uh, we signed the warrants. Uh, we have a computer equipment lease agreement that will be uh, dealt with under new business. Uh, the upcoming food service budget has us breaking even for the year. We're Hope, hope to see that happen. And uh, uh, Pauline discussed the various projects going on in the in the schools, and uh, everything seems to be on track and ready to go for next week. And uh, we also discussed an adjustment of a uh, secretarial salary. Okay. Thank you. Um, the next on the agenda is policy subcommittee. Um, report out, and I don't think anyone is prepared to do that. I, I'm not sure that there's been um, we a meeting. We haven't met, and it's, I don't think we have a meeting scheduled. Okay. okay. No, I don't see it. No. So we'll move on to unfinished business. Is there any un unfinished business? Apparently not. It's a nice way to start off the the new year with things all finished from last year. It's tough for me to have unfinished business. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we'll move on to new business, consideration of the superintendent's nominations to teacher positions for this upcoming school year. The, um, what we tried to do in uh, the meeting we had in, uh, in the summer, we talked about trying to look at the hiring process and, and getting information to the school board uh, regarding candidates who are recommended. So in an effort to do that, we just come up with a very uh, short form. Um, it's, it's kind of in a pilot stage. Um, in most of the cases, the administrators were able to use that. Our next step would be to take a look at the process itself so that there's some consistency from um, one school to the next as to what makes up a committee. I think we all are doing the right things, and the intent is to do it that way, to include uh, teachers in that particular area, and whatever that might be, but I don't think there's anything that's formalized. Uh, that will probably be the next step. This form that's attached to each one of these recommendations is just an attempt to give you, and a real quick shot, some information as to why the committee uh, is making a, and the recommendation is coming to you for the particular individual and you have an idea of how it all happened. Uh, so um, let me go through these and, and again these were all during the course of the summer. Uh, the first recommendation that I have is a grade 3 teacher at Pine Cove School, uh, Bethany Etzel. Okay. And what we can do 
Tom, if, if you're comfortable, is we can go through. I'm comfortable with that. Yep. Um, grade two teacher at Pine Cove School, uh, Patricia McCarthy. Sixth grade teacher at the middle school, Charlie Carroll. Point four French teacher at the middle school, Christine Groff. Point four Spanish teacher at the high school, Lynn Hallett. And at the high school, uh, John Griffin, which is a point four math. Thank you. Okay. So it helps to have the form because we didn't have the form for that one. It makes it a little bit easier. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the superintendent's recommendations uh, for the teachers as listed. Okay. Second. Second. John. Um, discussion? Question? I just had a question about Christine Groff. Um, she's not a certified teacher at this point. And is that okay? <laughs> yeah, we, um, we have um, a waiver and we'll be uh, things are in place that she'll be able to get the conditional exactly. certification. She's eligible. Okay. Thank you. Other questions or comments? Uh, Lynn Howitt's sure. degree has, in fact, been confirmed that she'll be getting it in September. She said it was attached. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have the confirmation. Okay. We have, and, and in some of these foreign language areas, um, I had actually. Uh, phone call today from the superintendent wondering if we had any people that in Spanish especially it's just very difficult to find people. Other uh, questions? I if none, um, all those in favor? Six, six zero. Um, superintendent's nominations for fall athletic positions. Um, Following people are recommended: um, Karen Willows, assistant field hockey at the high school; Sarah Jordan, uh, eighth grade girls soccer; um, and Tina Vermiglio, seventh grade girls soccer. Okay. Um, is there a motion? Jim. I move that we accept the uh, superintendent's recommendations for the uh, athletic positions as read. Okay. Second. Marie. Um, questions or comments about those nominations? Seeing none, all those in favor? 6-0. Consideration of the superintendent's nominations for co-curricular fee positions. Wait, can I just interrupt yeah. a second? Mm -hmm. Kate, what's the status on the rest of the... Um, athletic coaches. I, uh, was a lot worse than before today, I would say. Um, I have a, a woman that I talked to who was potential to be uh, one of the field hockey coaches, and uh, there's, there's a group of women who have come up here, and Sue and Jen were so kind to let them use the field last year, and out of the potential, they, there, there could be some potential coaches there. One of them called me today and would say a good candidate for that. Um, the other is uh, I have somebody potentially for the other boys' stock position as well. Great. So we're not looking that bad. Good. Good strategy, Sue. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, like, we appreciate that. <laughs> um, okay. Full curricular. Cool, cool. Uh, there are two nominations in the technology co-curricular positions, Wendy Josewitz, webmaster position, and Jason Lund for assistant email administrator position. Okay. Um, I need a motion. Keith? I'll move we accept the uh, two positions for co-curricular mm -hmm. uh, as recommended by the superintendent. Second. Second. Jim, thanks. Um, any discussion or questions? Comments about these positions? Seeing none, all those in favor? 6 0. Um, consideration of a lease purchase agreement for com computer technology equipment. And this is you, Keith? Yep, I'll uh, try to hit the important points here. 
the lease is that under pursuant to the provisions of Title 20-A MR, MRSA Sections 1001 and 1055, the Superintendent of Schools be and hereby is authorized to execute and deliver a tax-exempt tax lease purchase agreement with People's Heritage Leasing Corp in the name on behalf of the Town of Cape Elizabeth and through its school board, the issuer, for computer and related technology equipment with an aggregate purchase price of $122,815. I move that we accept that. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, John. Um, any questions about this uh, vote that would be adopted? This happens each year that we uh, that we go through this process. Um, seeing none. All those in favor? Six zero. Okay. We are. Um, at the point of uh, considering the superintendent's request to enter an executive session to discuss negotiations. Um, and um, before we do that, I'd like to just review the, the dates uh, that are coming up in terms of uh, school board workshop meeting on Tuesday, <coughs> September 7th at 5 p.m. Um, and this will be at the community center. The topic is actually a workshop session with representatives from MSMA to, to discuss the school board, to discuss school board roles. Um, it's a bit of a, a, a training and a session of, of, of sorts. Um, a finance subcommittee meeting will happen on Tuesday, September 14th. Um, at 6.30 at the William Jordan Conference Room and it will be immediately followed by the first um, school board um, uh, uh, meeting for 99 uh, with school back in session. That will be at 7.30 in the council chambers. And we do have scheduled a high school, at, at the high school, um, a school board workshop uh, on Tuesday, September 28th at 7 p.m. and the topic uh, for that um, will be announced. Um, right now, I do need a, a motion to um, enter executive session for the purpose of uh, discussing negotiations. <laughs> I move that we um, uh, um, enter executive session to discuss negotiations. Okay. Um, second? Second. Thank you. Discussion or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor? 6-0. And that, uh, do you need to, I don't know, do you need to, if uh, Pauline is going to come, do you need to invite her in, in the motion? Um, we, we haven't done that in the past. Okay. okay. But is that something we should consider doing? We usually have to invite whoever. I, okay, invite I, yeah, I that think makes sense. I think yes. that's a good idea. And to invite Pauline into the session. Okay. So can we revise that? Amend the, amend the motion. Thank you. you tell I'm not a lawyer. Um, amend the motion. And do we need to vote on that again? Probably. If you, if Technically. You OK. Yes. Can we get a second on the amended motion? Keith? Yes, sir. Um, any discussion, comments? Seeing none, all those in favor? 6-0. We did it. Um, that concludes this evening's meeting.